<laughs> Let's <laughs> see it. <laughs> Eat it. Eat oh my it, god, it. Rosalind's here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Doing good. How you doing, Rosalind? I'm recording, so this is gonna be in the YouTube. Whatever. Rip, 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 rip. rip. I mean, I just started. Okay. Well, we're 22 seconds yeah. in. <laughs> All right. Woo. Then uh, I'll start out on my end. Cool. The Echoes of New Eden podcast starts now. Enjoy the show. Do you want to like have a timestamp for ad hominem? So you can have like ad hominem one, or just become like ad homina, ad yeah. homina, 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 ad homina. You just add a homina after each one. No, it's just going to be used. <laughs> every single time you said it, it's just going to be an audio clip of you. I'm not going to go put timestamps on that because that would be like take me forever. That'd be all the timestamps. That, that was actually 50% of the content today was that. Yes, it was. Ad hominem, 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 ad homin
Hey, here's a funny thing I want to bring up about YouTube because I know Rambo doesn't really care about YouTube too much because it's all about the podcast numbers, as he should be. That, that's the major numbers, right? But on the YouTube side, we've been sitting around 650 or so subs like all year. Uh, now we're over 700 and some odd. And just in the last uh, couple of weeks, we've we've added like 50, 50 subs uh, onto YouTube. So the funny thing about that is, is if you go and look at the stats of who's listened – on YouTube over the last couple of weeks, less than half of our listeners are actually subscribed. So now is your chance to go over onto YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe, hit that bell, make sure you get notified every time we post up anything new, make sure that your Discord server has our content getting pushed to you from our uh, Discord when things go live, and there you go, there's our advertisement for YouTube. But no, the numbers are great, there's a ton of people listening. Uh, good feedback yeah. all around. Even on top of the 100 people that we had li live in the audience. <laughs> so Yeah, that's huge, huge numbers I think in just, like a live. Just after the debate, just after the debate, we gained 35 subscribers on the YouTube. Just just, just from after that. that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that was pretty cool to see. I think the outreach was there. People were talking about it. I know OC was, was telling me some other uh, comms chatter, I think was uh, part of the... Uh, the voyage ceremony right there's a there's a comms chat that happened was that on the uh, official evecos I mean, discord i i made a chat when my character was called voyage ceremony and a bunch of people kept joining we, we did it as a joke but eventually people started talking about the episode and there was someone who was very i forget his name but he was very rightly so upset about the voyage ceremony language versus what was in the patch notes and said honestly that last episode was probably the best content i've seen in the game at least in the last year right and it wasn't even Nettie's. so yeah yeah yeah, and that's that's awesome to hear. I'm, dude, I'm just super happy that people are talking about it, you know, all over the place. So, and of course, uh, the the subs and the views and all that stuff is is cool and all too. So, um, I I did want to add Taylor to the subscribers though on YouTube. About twenty six percent of them are getting their content from the YouTube homepage in which it com comes up. Uh -huh. You know, so if they are watching other YouTube or Eve Echoes related content, and then there's odds, odds are that our content will come up on like your up next or in the, uh, you know, check this video out type of stuff. Uh, it's, it's possible that they can click on the video that way too. So well, if they subscribe, then they just get all the content. So that's cool. And all. Right. But you know what else I found too is yeah. again, kind of looking at those numbers, kind of going through, through some things, I realized that not a single one of our uh, videos on YouTube all year long come up when you go and look for Eve Echoes related content, even though they're all tagged. So if you go and look for, like, you can just go and look at what YouTube thinks is Eve Echoes content and it shows a whole mass of stuff, nothing from us. And it's because we don't have a hashtag Eve Echoes in any of our descriptions. So I'll be fixing that as well. Nor nor do we have uh, sponsors because we don't monetize. Right. Yeah. Like anything. We, nope. we have zero monetization. You have UB. We have UB. Yeah, we just have <laughs> so. Juby. Yep. 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 Yeah. We don't need to advertise. We just have you. Yeah. We don't need advertisement. <laughs> so there you go. That's good. I, I, Juby, did you want to give a, a shout out uh, real quick before we dive into uh, today's topics? Actually, yes, I have a lot of things to say uh, about the debate. And uh, also today, Rambo was helping me many hours to set up the live streaming on my laptop. And I'm uh, last time I used the PC like 10 years ago and I appreciate all the help that Rambo gave me and uh, Yubi never forgets the people who help so that's a big thing think so Rambo you have my biggest respects and thank you we did a YouTube uh, live stream with the laptop and Rambo was my guest and we did a giveaway we have the two Omega screenshot competition in the Ubis fan club, I can maybe share a link in the live uh, IR chat if you guys want. But I don't want to steal steal your spotlight from this podcast, kinda. So yeah, thank you, Rambo. 
I appreciate You're it welcome. a lot. And also the the bait, uh, it was very good. I listened to it, and uh, from that debate, I got uh, several ideas, uh, and it was very good to hear like all the big alliance people talking and when you hear something that everyone agrees then you're like that's a good idea so for for example everyone agreed that the new player uh, experience is very bad like uh, and it's a basically the responsibility of the players to educate the new players to start the game and learn faster how to play this complex Evecos game. So I was thinking to do some videos for the new people that they uh, will find the fastest way to basically join any any type of corp or I don't know, but it's uh, on the works. I need to figure out like where people send their corporations uh, kind of recruitment ads and uh, guide them to that end basically join any corp fast as possible find a friend find people who will start playing with you and you will learn the game faster and basically yeah that's that's the idea but how many many things to tackle with that like where do we send the people to look for the corporations which one is the best how to join all that and of course the spies people can have spy accounts and uh, that's why some corporations have very tight like uh, regulations how to join yeah for sure yeah that is for sure i'm glad they gave you some ideas for some video content to be able to do um, i know a lot of people don't necessarily do new player content um it, it just is what it is. I mean, we don't really cover too, too much about any of that stuff. It's not like we're going out of our way and creating like, this is how you create a character. This is how you do this or that. Um, yeah. At, I, I guess at this point in the game, it's kind of to be expected. But um, with some of the changes that had happened, especially with the tech level being removed on certain ships, um, ults were definitely born this last week. I could, I could tell you that. So I think people are starting yeah. to realize or remember how i guess crappy the uh the that the whole character thing is and having to go through that uh tutorial and all that and like oh shit i'm in the help chat again like oh sh i gotta get out of this like, i can't <laughs> yeah. i could only stand space pope for so long like i gotta leave the chat every yeah. fresh I, I cannot stand it so it's you know it is one of those things um for uh for new players like we want to have new players join this game but the 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 whole tutorial thing is just it, it all needs scrapped yeah. and redone yeah real new player experience change needed i mean the tech level thing was really nice to see i mean obviously it's not enough but it at least seems that they're open enough to make some changes hopefully we'll see more this year and not have to wait till summer uh I'm not really going to hold my breath on seeing anything major between now and the end of the year. I mean, there'll be a couple things that will be that will my prediction between now and the end of the year is going to be that there'll be a couple things that'll drop. That'll be interesting, but nobody will look at them as major things or realize that they're major things until the first quarter of next year, when the other part of what they do comes into light and then makes sense. That's my, that's my prediction anyway for the remainder of this year. Um, it won't be anything crazy. But yeah, I've also heard some uh, like uh, how uh, corporations are preparing for something what we don't know. And like uh, we need to raise money in two months and blah, blah, like moon mining is coming. And uh, that's that's a well moon mining is here if someone was smart enough to uh build the build the array properly um you'd have it you'd have it ready to go like right now but uh but yeah yeah, okay. yeah. 
Good deal. I and so I would love to see <laughs> the first moon array. Yeah, moon mining I, yeah. operation. They are. They should be able to be anchored today. Yep. Today. Today would be the first day, and so I guess we could say tomorrow would be some of the first uh, belts that are going to be spawning if they do spawn. So that will uh, segue us into the. Uh, latest and greatest game news i know they don't have too much for announcements i know they got this whole ceremony thing going on we're in week three and so they did release the patch notes and taylor if you have the patch notes up for the um the live stream but uh of course we we've got the moon drilling array and so if you built that on day one as soon as that released then you should be able to anchor it today that's after build time and anchor all that type of stuff and then spawn it or at least have the chance to spawn it. i'm still not really clear as to how that spawns whether if you have the corp tech to unlock it to be able to spawn it whether or not it has a chance of spawning because if you look at the corp tech it shows that um was it a 30 percent chance on top of that's the spawn uh, certain types five. of that's to spawn certain types of resources within it. The chance to spawn okay. the belt is 100%. Are you sure about that? Because okay, it so, doesn't say that anywhere, but I assume that it was 100% you're going to spawn something. But what is that something going to be? A bunch of belts bar? But then you get a no, chance you get, of yeah. getting something cool? You, <laughs> you get you, you, It does spawn the moon belt. There is a lot of regular ore. We don't know the ratio, and we don't know how right. it's affected by tech clear. But the percent is talking about, like, so if you look at, like, the Azazel or the new ships to craft, and it needs those minerals, it's, like, that stuff. Actually, if you look in, you can actually see what that is, because if you well, look it's at the not, market... It's not, it's not necessarily minerals. It's the, it's the, it's the, I forget what they called it on the market crystals. side of things, but it's, well, it's it's the crystals in the moon in the moon ore that you have to refine into things, and then you use those, or you use that, actually, you don't have to refine it at all. You use that raw stuff. It's reactive. If you look at the blueprints anyway, underneath reactive elements like where the the gold ball and the red balls are um, that you typically use gases or cobalt materials on, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of new there's a whole bunch of new seeded blueprints there that you use with straight ore and straight crystals to craft these new items that are used for the builds, like you were talking about OC. Yeah, it's just the right, raw. The materials so yeah. that oh. that screenshot i posted that's what i'm talking about with the ubiquitous or is that's what the buff is for yeah okay that's very interesting so yeah oh, you would the, need uh, oh, tech the... level six yeah uh, okay so the the we're, we're not really bows. the only thing we're not really sure of is like if that te it, like does tech level six really matter for, you know what i mean is it more of like a okay. because the tech level for that is really cheap right the moon mining one is about 30 built isk this is under 10 but you've already paid for T6, right? So if you're already T6, this doesn't cost much to max out. So it's more like a... Who wants more Veldspar, though? What the hell? I mean, if it's there and you already have your Rorko because you're mining 10 mil M3, I don't, you know, I don't know if you matter or if you care, right? No, I mean, I've already rich. got like seven seven or eight stacks of Tritanium that are maxed out stacks. I don't need more of that shit. Like, I don't... I need Noxium. I need uh, uh, Morphite uh, to the tune of like... 20 million more fight um like right now not yesterday not for future like now for current builds release the ventures <laughs> yeah i mean uh, maybe uh, maybe mining. future content because obviously we know for capital production that's a needed item so why not like uh have a moon belt too them i might have be able to spawn you know upgrade the uh moon drilling array or something like that to be able to get maybe some additional ores in that sense yeah i hope they add the ability to upgrade them and it looks like right now you can't it's just a structure by itself but i think when they say ubiquitous moon asteroid clusters i'm not sure they're talking about ubiquitous ores i hope they're not talking about th that i wasted three levels on corp tech of that just so that i could spawn more fucking veldspar <laughs> I mean, that that part I'm not sure. My, my understanding oh, is 100 chance of something to spawn, but it does say clusters versus ore. To your point, so hopefully it's that the 10 mil M3 isn't one thing and it's multiple sites, and they just mean you get more sites overall. Right? <laughs> what are hope. the what are they? I mean, the ore is already in the game, so I guess I'm gonna look that right. up in the market real quick and see what it calls these other. You know why? Why do they call that class of 
or ubiquitous when it's not even yes. called that in terms of refining. Uh, yes. Right. So it's two different <laughs> things completely. It's like, so I'm waiting for my game to fucking load. God damn it. I think the way that it's they broke it patch. up is it's a, it's a tier like the repro tiers, like you're saying, like, you know, you have like precious right. or, and, right. but they, but they also have a moon ores tier. They added that at the same time as the ubiquitous ores tier. Right. So it's kind of interesting that they made that specific distinction. Yeah, I mean, their verbiage on stuff has always been trash. I mean, it's just, and I don't know if that's a translation error or what, but it's it's always been, all right, I got my game pulled up. I'm going to look real quick at the market. Uh, the the ores. Moon yeah, it just says moon ore, yeah. Um, right, Maybe there's your minerals, there's belt. your raw, there's, hmm. I wonder it's if there's going to be ore. condensed moon ores. And that's what it'll be. Yeah, I don't know. Since when did they call the first group ubiquitous? I don't get that. I'm pretty sure it's this. Like, it was around the moon patch. Like, it's definitely yeah. for this. Yeah. But that's def not, not been a long time thing for Repro. No, no. And it's the intermediate materials, by the way, where you can find the stuff like the fullerides, hexite, uh, ceramic fibers i mean these are great names the naming on these are fantastic the nano transistors it's <laughs> they look like a bunch of little bubbles it's great they did a good job on coming up with uh weird shit like that the enriched uranium is going to change a lot um for sure let's go back to the skills real quick and let's look at those repo skills um because that's the thing oh yeah they added the skills to the game too so now those they did. Uh, all your uh all your reprocessor characters are going to have to skill into that and, yeah, and, uh, and see the ubiquitous oh ones, God. the ubiquitous uh, ore on the market is common ore in terms of reprocessing, right? Yeah. That's the same class. And then, of course, on the reprocessing side, they just call it moon ore reprocessing for moons and uh, moon ore and crystals. Like the crystals are included in that as well. So, yeah. And that's no small amount of um, SP either. I want to say it's 10 million to do expert to five. Yep. And then advanced is. Uh, like maybe four and a half to get uh, advanced. So that's uh, 13. Um, and then another, yeah, about 12 million. That's not that bad. So you could repo out it. You could, you could spec out of something fairly easy and put uh, 555 for moon, moon or reprocessing pretty fast. I think what it comes down to too is like the reason why they have those reclasses the ubiquitous is that's probably what the mass of the belt is going to be. You know what I mean? It's not like the full 10 million is not you mining really valuable stuff. You know, they wanted it to be something big and something to do. So it's probably a lot of those more, like, just stuff to add fluff to it is what it seems like. Yeah. I, don't, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, I believe it'll still be Wednesday, I think, before we see anybody with uh, any kind of report, you know, on, on what they get out so of it, what the breakdown looks like. It'll still be, like, Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. So to, to sum up this entire section is basically that Taylor wants all the belts part, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Yes, yeah, and all those part. I would say no. reach out to Bradrick immediately, if not sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's still the number one producer of C70 in the game as far as I've seen. Bradrick? So, yeah, lots of gas. Lots, yeah. lots of hot gas, yeah. Lots of gas. <laughs> 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 that hominem. Well, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Someone attacked him. Oh God. <laughs> We're gonna you're attacking the person and not the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That hominem. I mean, I've been told of so Venom Wolf is in is in uh the server right now on air chat and he's asking why we're not streaming and why our cameras aren't on. And I have actually been told that people watch the YouTube when we have our cameras on because they like to see our reactions, right? Uh, to, to, to certain things. So I'm sorry um, that you don't get to see that right now, but when we do that, when we turn the camera, it's so stupid that they do this, but it's Discord. So first off, if we turn the cameras on, we are now limited to 50 uh, in this. Oh. Well, I guess, I guess I don't know. That part of it though, I think we could boost the server and increase that even though the cameras are on. So that part we could get around with even having our faces on, right? But when we stream, 
that's when Discord limits us to 50 no matter what. So, yeah, that's, that's weird. all we can. There's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> what is the point of joining yeah, if we plus, can't see Tay Tay and Rambo's cute faces? <laughs> I, it is what it is. But I, we have, I, I kind of anticipated a, a larger audience you today. kind of look uh, my so face. Like, <laughs> right now we have 54 in the audience. Right. And so if we were to go live, then it'll start kicking people and then we have issues. But, you know, yep. it's we don't want to do that. So we'll just yep. work with it at this time. Uh, but uh, yeah, seven, seven boosts. Yeah. Let's see okay, here. so we could turn it our did. cameras on and be at uh, one fifty. According don't, to that, don't at, turn it at seven boosts. <laughs> <We will lose laughs> I'm gonna do right it. And see, I'm gonna do it and see. I've started my virtual no, camera. No, 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 it's it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna. Oh, oh, it won't let me do it. <laughs> Video chat isn't available for more than fifty users. It won't let me do it. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, rip. oh boy. Big rip. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe we Maybe need time. to do on Twitch or in YouTube, basically, like uh, but yeah, it's uh, difficult because like okay. Discord is very good tool. We we are on a little bit of a time crunch because of uh, the the guest today, so I mean oh, yeah, I kind sure. of just want to go through this a little bit more and talk about the uh, faction battleships. We'll talk about the moon, uh, you know the. The moon drilling and all that probably next week too or if you do a, a, a patch notes uh, update and you talk a little bit about it um kind of like you did on your previous patch notes yeah. but uh they probably wait until we've faction... actually done one and then show it yeah yeah that will be wednesday those lines right yeah <clears throat> so they release these faction battleships as well and i i believe during your stream um uh, because it was post patch we 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 already see we have already seen kill mails of basically every faction battleship that has been released so far um mm, some of like them the upwards of like 33 billion i think some of the anubises were over 30 bill um dead had a uh marzio fleet that uh they went into catch or somewhere and ended up getting wiped by tsc i seen uh archer finn die in a cobra that was like 30 something billion i want to say you know, um, the, the, the these ships are out there. The kill mails are out there. They're kind of beefy. Some of them are cheap, surprisingly cheap. I'm actually happy that they're, you know, base model, just whole, all that type of stuff is uh, relatively cheap considering. But well, of that's course, for now, the fits that some uh, right because that's until the moon now. stuff gets priced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and until all this stuff gets priced, and uh, you know, the market will probably fluctuate a little bit, as these were these were in a box i paid 99 cents for the faction battleship uh box because i already had aur so basically i only needed 27 ah. aur in order to get this ship because it's 300 aur and so um normally if you had zero aur it was about 11 dollars us to be able to get this faction battleship which is considerably cheap it's not bad it, to a lot of people that's probably worth it um but uh as soon as people because you're only limited to one per character so even though i got the one i'm not allowed to per make that purchase once again so obviously as as ships die and say people don't want to buy it they'll buy it off the market instead obviously when that stock uh fluctuates as well then pricing will affect you know it's going to be crazy in that sense but uh, i could only imagine that these will probably go up yeah yeah, I don't know what I the IP like is on one of them now, but uh, but yeah, I'm hoping they're not too crazy. I really like I really like the Marzio. I've got I got one of those. I picked up uh, picked up two of them actually on two different accounts th via that box, which it's surprising how cheap that is really, um, and it's yeah. also surprising how we've been lulled into thinking that's cheap. Oh, we can only we can spend ten bucks and get a battleship. That's really cheap. Everybody's gonna do it now. <laughs> God, um, the weird thing though is that the destroyers aren't there. You can't get one. Mm. Here's new destroyers. Nobody can get one, and you can't build them either because the material is not released yet. But do we want them? No, we don't. They're shit. But, I mean, it's just <laughs> weird that they even released them. Like, it's just a weird <laughs> we're thing. We're like, wait a minute. Why don't you have shit in a box? Yeah, exactly. Now now we're just sitting <laughs> here. Works. We're lulled into the 11 bucks is great. Exactly. I would pay 12 bucks for a nester as well. I mean, muffin. oh my yeah, God. I would bro, pay, come on, no. I'd pay 30 bucks for a nester <laughs> all day. <laughs> Why not crap in a box? I know. Isn't this crazy how we've kind of come full circle now? Now we're complaining about the craps, not in the box, but yeah, I yeah, mean, we complain about getting stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like we're never going to complain about stuff <laughs> God. So bad. Crazy. So bad. Bad hominem. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> but my, my friend Troy, he, he gave me for test drive the Azazil and Marzio. There's only one and, way to uh, say that, by the way. See. There's only one way to say that. So the Marzio is, is fine <laughs> to just say Marzio. But you you have to say the other yeah. one like you're screaming Khan from you know Kirk from uh, Wrath of Khan. <laughs> Azazel! Oh <my> <laughs> like like Lisa Al Gaib, right? It's an Azazel! <laughs> you have to you have to scream it that way. That's there's only way to do it. All right. <laughs> That's funny. I'll remember. I need that. to get that sound. When Somebody that send video. me that link. Yes, send me that Barrett. video. I'm gonna pull a sound clip. That's exactly where I got the idea from. Right there. Oh my god, that one. <laughs> that one right there. It's, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Give me the link. I'll pull that sound clip. You can <laughs> really see the like the peak blood pressure in that gift too. Like his face is about to rupture. Uh huh. He's so pissed. Yeah. So I love it. But yeah. You know, it's, uh, we had we had talked. About, you know, since we're on the uh, topic of the Mario, the uh, Mario. Yeah, that was that was purpose. Uh, and Mar- the uh, Marzio f- and the Marzio description actually says Mario in it. And it's like a this distant land or something like that. Am I right? Like I think yeah. even uh, Mario from Moby even he put uh, a job. took it. He did it at everyone and 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 showed everyone that uh, his name is in the game like that. So uh-huh. it's in uh-huh. the description of the Marzio. But I remember last week when we were talking about this in the post debate show was um, the Black Ops mock, which I had heard that that was going to be a thing. Taylor shot it down pretty much right away. I, did. I thought it was a troll, I, dude. I was like, yeah, right. Bro. I, ex- Black Ops I Mox, accepted that. I would never that. do that. <laughs> right. I, I accepted that because I don't really know anything about that, especially if it were to come over from EVE Online or anything like that. But I had heard it. I was base, you know, basing my comment off of hearsay. And then when the ships dropped and I'm reading the description, I'm like, holy shit, they added a Black Ops mock. Like, yeah. Okay. Hey, Taylor, I was actually right. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were. <laughs> None of these ships, by the way, exist in, in EVE Online. Oh, cool. So this but is But even cool. if they did, Unique. it wouldn't be surprising that they made them common. Because, I mean, look at the, the cruisers, right? These, like, Alliance ships. People fly around Phoenix like it's nothing now. Yeah, yeah. They're just common ships, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're not that expensive anymore. I mean, really, in terms of the IP and build and everything else, the materials are readily available. So they're not they're not as bad. So, I love okay. my fiend. So, that's uh, you know, you could check out the new games or the, the new ships in uh in the game. So that the uh, they're pretty cool. I have yet actually to open my box because I'm kind of uh, not distraught, but uh, I'm trying to figure out which one I really want. Oh, you so, want the Marzio? Yeah, that's uh, do smart. I though? You do. D- do I? You do. I mean, I <laughs> then I have to buy. I have to buy another one for my alt because he's lasers and he uses a Balgorn. And so I want to. Azazel. Yeah, Azazel. Yeah, I want to get an Azazel. All right. We'll we'll talk about this void ceremony real quick too. Oh I I know everybody. Oh, Everybody yeah. got like, the wait, notification. Will we be talking about the ceremony doc- live, or should we go to a different channel to pre-record well, our discussion so... of the ceremony and paste it later <laughs> without telling anyone anything? Like first, we'll I hype mean... up our live discussion, but not have a live discussion. Right? No, no. We're this is just the discussion where we're going to talk about discussing the voyage ceremony, and we're never okay, going to actually do it. Yeah, we're never yeah, actually going to do it. So, I think there is a lot of missing context. What what happened yesterday was the rehearsal for the corporations. But for some reason, everybody in New Eden got the notification to join the live stream. Yep. If you were to click on the link that it provided in game, it brought you up it brought you to the YouTube video. The live stream from twenty twenty two is yeah. is what it brought you to. And so I'm like, what the hell am I watching? I'm like it's it's not relevant to today so i think a lot of questioning was going on there like how come i couldn't see the live chat all that it was a rehearsal just for the corpse and what i theoried and granted i was part of the parade last year was they wanted the rehearsal to record the the ships and all that type of stuff for the actual ceremony so if you attended the rehearsal then you didn't have to attend 
the actual ceremony. Okay, but hold up a sec. Check live chat, right? That was in the okay. patch notes. Why One would you time... advertise a two-hour event to everyone in the game if you knew it was going to be a rehearsal? Like, even if it right. was, let's say this was their plan. Cool. Why are you messaging this to everyone in the game to make them sad? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they want to make Nobody them sad. They trolled, they trolled that's, everybody. They trolled everybody. But I'm just saying, like, that's not... <laughs> like, like, but that's our job, right? We as players <laughs> troll each other. Like, you're, listen, when you have your big boy pants on, you're filling out your time cards. It's not your job to troll us, right? Like, Ad hominem. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think mean, like, I'm afraid to do the Azazel thing. I'm like, I feel like this is a bait, and there's gonna be another four minute fucking intro next week. Right? <laughs> no, it's all fun. It's all. Fun. It told you you were gonna no, be it, in an Aeon, Luan. It told you you were gonna be in an Aeon. Is that what it told you? No. Hmm. Do you? You don't even have an Aeon. Uh, yeah. You're I mean, you're yeah, not a you're I not a actually, capital pilot. That just means your CEO really believes in you. He's like, there you bro, go. You have yep. about three days to get a super, so I would get on and get to Clarelum or something. Just figure it out. That's uh, that's <laughs> exactly that's exactly uh, what I'm going to do for next year. Now that I now that I think about it, that's a perfect a way. Super? That's a perfect way to get everybody into supers. Like, dude, if you want to be here, this is I've assigned you a wyvern. Go get it. Come on. Bro, I gave you the opportunity. We all have 24 hours in a day. It's up to you to it's, make it happen. It's not that hard, bro. Do you even lift? But no, I mean. <laughs> um, I honestly, if, if Big was going to do this, we were all going to show up in shuttles, like 100 percent, 50 fucking shuttles. They don't, they don't let you. I think Cruiser is the lowest tier, and they don't let you do Rourke's either. So you can't God. even do a full Rourke fleet to troll. Like it's not, bro. So stupid. And yeah, you can't I, shoot these I, things. I, it's not live in in Gita, like I where know. you can just go and suicide gank the parade. Like that's that would be the entire. <laughs> we should actually do our own voyage ceremony. I'm pitching it right oh now. God. We're going to figure out a way to do it. We're going to stream it. We're going to do it live. We're going to do it from the EVE <laughs> official Discord because they give me access to the stage over there. They won't have any clue what we're going to fucking do, and we'll just do it there. And we're going to do it in low sex somewhere where everybody can come and fucking blow each other up. We'll do it in Tama. You know, you know, what, Tama we the... <laughs> you know what we should have done, Taylor, was we should have done a Taylor birthday parade <laughs> on the official <laughs> eve echoes discord and you started jita or whatever and then just do a parade through the systems you know do yep. some do some scenery checking and all that type of stuff and, and just have it streaming on the stage and granted the mods will be like what the hell is going on over here what what is happening hold on let's shut this down what is happening they'll get mad you can't yeah. do that i'm doing all it right. <laughs> so um, nah, and I, I think, good I think the rehearsal thing too, you know, from doing it last year, you had to have a pilot and a ship and you had to know what it was in order to make the formation. And so, okay, if this character is going to bring a Nidhogger, okay, sure. Okay. Next character. What are you going to bring? Oh, I'm going to bring my Chimera. Okay. Next character. What are you going to bring? Uh, I'm going to bring my Apoc striker. Like you have to determine all that when you're making the formation. Now, I think with last year, they screwed it up because the rehearsal went so bad and half the people couldn't yeah. join it and it was black screens and all that type of stuff. Um, I think people were being put into ships that they actually didn't have because at the time, that was like right when Supers had uh, released. Actually, Supers been out maybe two or three months prior to that. But uh, I think you could have literally chosen any ship to, to be in and it would have showed in the actual parade ceremony so um we got that coming up i i cannot find i know i saw it in the in the in-game links when i was clicking through all that type of stuff um on their website i can't find it on their website but it gives the breakdown of the timeline as to when uh, the actual ceremony is going to be and we can only hope that that's the actual live stream in which you could participate in and get codes. I had people asking me if there was any codes that were given away. I was like, there wasn't even a live stream. So how was there, no. there was nothing. There was a patch show that was yeah. incorrect. And it shows now <laughs> if you go back. That they're missing if it. you go back in game and you can actually get to the thing in game to watch the video of what they did for their rehearsal, but it doesn't take you to that. Instead, it takes you to a little grouping of whatever or just a list of stuff and shows you that the video will be released on September 6th. Yeah, there's also, you can watch the playback already and it's like uh, the 2020 
Yeah, I'm really hyped, Are man. They? We're gonna hear all about the nightmare nixes and you know watching people call <laughs> Nagelfars Dredna or their carriers or whatever, right? Like, yeah. Really great. <laughs> well, but that was rem- the remember best too. voyage one, voyage ceremony. <laughs> that one, the first one. I I, I, I agree. It was my favorite part was like when they let us write stuff to put in for the corp. They just accepted what we took. Like everyone used that yeah. as like. Oh, my corp does it. We all 100 percent of what we wrote was just bullshit, and they just read it with just extreme <laughs> confidence. Yeah, right? yeah. They went into a deadpan, yeah. like, "Yeah, it's pronounced os, not pronounced os. Maybe they mean food when they talk about ducks and geese." Like, it, yeah. oh my god, that was the greatest thing. os. But see, that's what well, we uh, could do for our real parade: what? is have people for their corpse write their descriptions, and they can say anything they want, including cussing, and I'll just read it straight face, like <laughs> I'm a uh, fucking anchorman, Ron Burgundy. That's a that's a strong sell, I would say. It's a very you strong sell. You can write sell. anything you want, and Taylor will say it with I, extreme confidence. And I will say it. Yep. There you go. I will say it. Uh, okay. The funny Good part deal. is, I was in the first voyage ceremony, and I was in the corp uh, named Society of Sin. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, all right, that's all very right. good. I... So, I mean, we talked about the drilling array, we got the new ships, we talked about the event, and the only other thing really is they upped the uh, special, like the Omega special deal event, to where now you can go up to 1800 days um, of uh, purchases of uh, Duo Omega. And did I don't remember seeing this, but the Wang Yu battleship is released in that yep uh, it's there so basically it's a really unfortunate yeah. name I, I see, it's a great way that's people, for sure it's a great way i've seen people uh using this it's got pretty good dps if it's uh it, you know if it's uh fit right so it's a pretty cool ship i don't have it yet because i don't have 1800 days but uh maybe someday I've got a few people that have them and uh fit them out and they have, they have skills for them and all of that and surprisingly surprisingly uh, heavy DPS, decent tank, battleship. It's not bad. Sweet. So Sweet. what's weird, though, is if you look at that battleship, that is the Yang Zhong graphic that they put out two and a half years ago when they were teasing new Yang <laughs> Zhong ships, and they made us think that that was mm. the carrier. Mm. It's not. It's a fucking battleship. Mm. <laughs> So, so what you're saying know, is they're on uh, 2027 for the actual ships for Yangzhou. Yeah. Well, I don't think that they'll ever release the full line of the Yangzhou ships all the way up to carriers and capitals. And all. I, I don't, well, I don't think they it's will. It's a bait tactic, right? It's a bait tactic. It's like, oh, yeah. we'll play for a couple more years and then we'll finally release the capital, uh, can you, or the yeah. whatever that faction is called. I can't think of it right now. Oh, my God. What yeah. my trick stuff? So uh, you know, after after last week's episode, I actually sent a, a DM to Captain Benzi. I said, "Benzi, you need to come back to the game. They're releasing all these ships." <laughs> and, and he replied, "God, no. he did reply. He knew player he did fits, reply. Okay. And so uh, I said, "I said, Captain Benzi, come back to Evecos. He says, "Elameo, why?" I said, "Check out the latest patch." And then I gave him the link. He says that they're interesting. And, uh, you know, too much wishy-washy with, uh, compared to everything else that's in EVE Echoes. And the removal from tech levels for cruisers down, uh, does nothing really. <laughs> so, mm. that was his, uh, official statement. Something on the, he uh, wanted update, for so. years and years, and now he right. says it does nothing. I, I, I yep. love the, um, hypocrisy of everybody who's upset. There's the image right there, by the way. That's that oh battleship. God, that's beautiful yeah. too. Isn't that look beautiful. At that. Look at the salesmanship right there. Just mm. yep, so good. Yeah, it's not half missing. It's not half. Missing. <laughs> exactly, it's not half missing like all of our ships. Whoa, dude. Okay, feel like we're it's a lot of well, aluminum right now. Can it, we get the sound plug in here, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So must uh, you know, as a Marian, okay. Add hominem. Add Add hominem. The you know, if this battleship ran into a wall, does it turn into the Lucent Moon? It turns into a Lucent Moon. Like, that's honestly, how Lucent Moon yeah, babies are it, made. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That's how you upgrade. You have to get sufficient speed. <laughs> That's okay. what it looks like yeah. when it's hard. The lucid moon is what it looks like when it's soft. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've been this uh, few days with the void ceremony and <laughs> all the bugs oh. and everything. I've started to feel like Camp to Benzi, like this rage, rage <laughs> blood boiling, you know. Uh, I, then I was I like, figured. no. Uh, 
Yeah, I wanted to do a video about the void ceremony, like uh, basically nothing good to say about it. But oh, I got all kinds I, of great like, things. I usually to say do about positive it. things. Yeah, let's just do positive. <laughs> let's just make all kinds of fun of it. You know, it'll be it'll be hilarious. There's no reason not to have. That's even sexier. Look at that one. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Where's that? Give there me you go, that. Juby. There... I'll pay for that. Juby, where's your uh, dual Omega photo contest? If you if you join Juby's Discord on his fan club and you post these photos, you have a chance of winning dual Omega. Ah, there you go. Ooh. Join yeah. Juby's yeah, Discord. Go. There's the link. There you go. Shout out. Yep. We we gave away two dual Omegas today. In fact, before this uh, before this podcast episode, we were we were doing that. So uh, it's yeah. good looking shit. I like it. Yep. Okay, let's uh, let's move on real quick. And you know, that's one the thing second I time you said too. move on real quick, and the first time you said it, we were twenty six <sighs> minutes in. This time we're forty six minutes in. Good job. No, I'm really trying to <laughs> trying to crush it. Like I do have a the comment. Army, like do have a comment. Time. Go. <laughs> I do have a comment. The this latest patch notes announcement that was on the official Eve Echoes Discord does not have not one single shit emoji on it. So hey. wow. I, I guess wow. that, that's wow. favorable. Wow. Either, so either that emoji was taken off the server by the mods probably. or it it was probably removed from the post. But anyway, that's uh that's game changing right there. So yep. <laughs> maybe that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah. that concludes it for uh, like official news and such um did want to comment about the tech level stuff uh, granted the uh alpha players now basically still are locked technically um you still need omega to be able to unlock or fly those ships that were previously tech level locked so i mean it is better i mean still 99 cents for a blue tackle i mean why not yeah if, is it worth it? I don't know. Some people it is. So, anyway, that is all I got there for uh, news. All right. And I do see, I know um, we had talked about it before the debate episode. We had Stoney uh, from TSC on the show. He had talked to us about the, uh, the theft that had happened. We were kind of probing him for some more information on that type of stuff. And at the same time, I had actually was talking to B-Town as to, you know, what all had happened and if he could come on the show. Well, timing couldn't work and all that type of stuff. And, of course, we had the debate show. That was already on the schedule. So this this weekend is it. This show is it. So we'll have B-Town here on the, uh, on, on the podcast and have him talk. Um, if he can raise his hand real quick and I can uh, – I know there's – oh, I see him here. There we go. I'll invite him to speak here and then mm -hmm. – uh, We'll uh, we'll have to listen as to what he's got to say. I know maybe to some people it's not really known that B Town was the person that did the theft. Uh, the motives I know we were kind of talking about it on the last episode was kind of unclear. So I'm hoping B Town will clear up a lot of stuff and uh, tell us his side of the story. So welcome B Town, welcome to the podcast. Um, I'm I'm glad you're here. Hey, what's going on? I have to be here. <laughs> What's up, man? But, um, <laughs> yeah, nothing much. Um, so what do you want to know first? So uh, I, I guess to, to pick up kind of where we left off is I know you were present in the, the Stony interview that we had had, and you were able to listen and possibly even replay back as to the things he said. Either you could, you know, counter to his points or whatever. But uh, mm -hmm. take it take it to the take us to the beginning as to how or why all this started this all happened oh well, say it more started off when like i got my roles stripped and it wasn't just fc roles it was roles from both the alliance server and the corp discord server and um also in game so those roles got stripped no communication was said to me. I had no idea what was going on. Nobody brought it up to me at all in DMs until I had to go to the group that we had made together with Arjuna, Stim, Raven, and um, Devastavia. And we're all in this group that we had started with the merger. But um, we had a group that we had made and I had brought it to the attention to the group and the only response I got back was from Dev 
to send me some messages and basically sort of told me some things. Raven told me a couple of things, but the things that were told to me didn't seem really legit for what need, what had happened to me. So there was a lot of like things that weren't really explained fully. And there's a lot of me going back and forth and with Raven and DMs. And there's a lot of things he was saying to me. There's a lot of things that he promised to me that he was going to do. And it was only because, you know, there's a lot of things he couldn't do because he didn't have his CEO in game role at the time because Stim had that in his possession. Um, yeah, so basically nobody communicated to me at all. So I'm communicating with them. They let me know what was going on, what a couple of things, but it took a while, like weeks, months were going by. A lot of the things were being said to me. And then once we started discussing it, a lot of different things were being said. A lot of, there was a couple of lies that were mentioned about, you know, what was said beforehand when we first merged with them and discussed. And I was still trying to find out what legitimately was the problem with the, the one person that, you know, started the conversation with Stoney to get it, the situation to where it is now. And, you know, I was still trying to find, figure that out, what the deal was with this person and why he had a personal problem with me from what it seemed like from my point of view. And nothing was really still told to me, clearly. And, um, you know, the DM with Stoney, like, kind of clarified more of what was really, you know, his mindset with a lot of what he said to Stoney. A lot of it was a look, twisted a message of what was really going on to um, what was going on in our director chat. And that's not what was going on. There was a lot of other things that was missaid to Stoney and not fully mentioned or they're like, a lot of screenshot proofs to prove what's really going on there. It was just more of a twisted version of what was going on, and then Stoney just reacted to it and just stripped me of my roles that day. Obviously, he didn't say anything to me, didn't feel like communicating to me that day because, you know, he said um, he was mad. It's like, all right, dude, but, you know, you can still at least reach out and say something, but he has yet to do that. I had even reached out to him at one point and asked him, hey, you know, could we talk? Never, never came back to me at all. Um, can can I ask you a question real quick? Yeah. When when you're an Alliance FC and you have those types of roles, is it oblig like is it are you are you obligated to make fleets to be able to maintain those roles? Is that stressed at all between anybody at that high level in as far as Discord and roles? It wasn't really stressed at that at the beginning of how you know, we were giving people FC roles, you know, it was the more of the people that were really active and on comms a lot that, you know, got people um, rallied up and ready to actually form fleets and stuff. Cause I did form fleets whenever I could home defenses, but you know, a lot of the times it's like, I can join CTAs when I can, but you know, during the time zone that these happen, not everybody can make them due to IRL situations. But um, it wasn't oh, everybody that's an FC that has that tag is forced to like always have to form fleets. It's only, you know, when you're around and during the time zone you're available, if you can, you can make fleets, you know, you do your thing. Like they don't have many FCs that are really around that much, but there's only a few, but it wasn't an enforced thing that it was like, oh, you have to do this. And if you don't do this too many times, then um, we're going to have to take these roles away. Nothing like that was ever said or mentioned except for when, you know, obviously Stoney said it, on his piece. Okay, so then continuing on after you that after you realize that and the the chatter that's come from that, then what happened? So basically, during the situation um, going forward, I got was getting some of my roles back here and there. There were still discussions going on between me and Raven that was like a lot of promises that were told to me, and a lot of things he said that would happen afterwards. So. Going forward, I got some roles back. Then it came to the decision that he was going to just, instead of giving me back the co CEO roles back, like he said, I would get, you know, I was going to be right with these stored with all my roles and everything like that. But he went and made the decision to the group after I had asked him, hey, you know, when am I going to get this back? He said he didn't, you know, kind of come up with an idea or whatever it was at the time. And then I go and see in the group chat, he addresses how he's basically changing the roles around. And he's now making Dev and Arjuna the co-CEOs, basically, or second in command, like he had stated, basically kicking me out from my position I had originally had after all the work I've put in for the corporation, like the amount of time and effort I've actually put in. 
and that's just where it was just like kind of like a fuck you and a spit in the face when it's like I put a lot of work and effort into the corporation and spent a lot of time in game doing a lot of things for the corp for him to just come to that decision after all that that was really what was kind of like fucked up to me that's when you decided that some of those assets that were in the hangers you would just go ahead and take correct basically like that yeah yeah a uh, couple of couple of supers, couple of super blueprints, a uh, couple of other more capitals, lots of minerals, stuff like that. How did you get all that moved before they realized it was all gone? Like that's not what, something is you there just. Is a screenshot of all of it or? No. Nah. So um, basically, here's another thing to explain about how the director role in game works. Well, it's not a role; it's a permission. Right. The director right. permission. It basically allows you to. You're basically a co-CEO. Um, let me see if I can post this one. But um, you're basically co CEO. You can edit the roles of. You can make. You basically can make a new role, but you can't give that new role the director permission. You cannot kick a person that has the role that has the director permission, and you cannot um, kick the CEO. So the only thing you can do other than that is everything else. Edit the permissions that they have. What they have access to, you can do all of that wallet access. Um, and um, hangar access. So basically, nobody ever gave anybody that director role inside of the permissions. Hmm? I mean, that's no, my the role I had, had. No, the role I had already had the director permission. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, even on my end, regardless of the situation with you, I would never give anybody that that um, checkbox it's a for, lot of their, trust. for their commercial. Yeah, that's too oh, much yeah, trust. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't do that. So. No, it's because before I, I had this. Casino Royale theme song running in my head. Like I'm excited <laughs> to hear how this uh, going to uh, end. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that's, that's, that's the next question, right? Is like how did it all get moved before it, this? I mean, when 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 I first heard this story, I was like, Jesus, that's a lot of shit to get taken that quick. Like, how did it get moved before someone noted? Like, I could I could you could move it all into your hangar instantly. So that's you know, it might take. Uh, that day i would think for someone to notice sometime that day somebody's gonna fucking notice that right i mean no no chance nobody does unless it's a totally dead corp and they're totally clueless on how they're running things but um so yeah. that day you'd have to notice that that much shit's gone so then the next thing is is how you have to get it moved out of there before your ability to move anything out of that citadel is stripped because now it's all 15% at an ITC and that's a shit ton of money when it's 6.7 trillion worth of crap. So how'd you get all that moved? How many alts do you have that are jump freighter pilots for those minerals, let alone the, the ships? <laughs> <laughs> no, I only I had, uh, the DR yet. <laughs> no, I only had one freighter pilot, but I had plenty of time. Uh, things. That's it. I mean, even if someone removes rights, so you can always get an alt in the alliance or someone with blue. You know, easy enough to get someone with blue standing because yeah, you yeah. can still contract assets. True, true. Fair enough. Still though, that takes time. You ever moved minerals, OC? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically, um, basically, during the time that um, I was able to be on, is well, I'm, I was very active in the corp, so I knew a lot of. The time I knew all the time zones that everybody's active, and the time that I was on, nobody was really act that active to notice anything. So I just started removing everything, and then the final thing that set it off that you know triggered you know was when I pulled some um, isk out of the wallet, and then <laughs> people in alliance were noticing when I took the fuels out of the citadel. Oh, you took the fuel out of the citadel as well. <laughs> that's a major yeah. fuck you oh, did you reinforce wow. them i wish i would that's have known just... them to reinforce that'd have been great that's the icing like oh, yeah. I, I could do reinforcing those things would have took even longer i was not trying to do that <laughs> well i mean you had a super to do it with well, <laughs> well. you turned the lights yeah. out as he left yeah, pretty much right <laughs> yeah yeah basically yeah <laughs> all... if he would have not done that they probably not notice at all <laughs> oh no by that time i had everything out so wow. that was oh, the last boy. thing i did shut the lights off shut the lights off close the door behind me so 
do you have like a, a breakdown i know because we we're just speculating uh you had told us of about about some of the stuff that was taken do you have like a full breakdown and an exact isk amount as to what was taken no i haven't done a full breakdown of it myself but um yeah it's, it's basically what stoney said like a few capitals um i guess an aeon blueprint whatever he said and then you know the aeon hall i guess um and then yeah a lot of the minerals and stuff like that and whatever was whatever was in the hangars was gone and you still have all of that in low sec i presume or maybe an npc in in null yeah not that i want to know exactly where it's at because i actually don't care but so I already put some stuff to use anyway. The whole thing started from obviously the roll removal, and then they're going to put the rolls back, but they didn't, and you felt like you were getting dicked around. Before the rolls got removed, were you a CEO or co-CEO of Adam? Yeah, I was a co-CEO. How many co-CEOs um, does Adam have? Adam, at the time, before we had merged with um, Trimark and started that, it was just basically me and Devastavia as the co-CEOs. Then we had our directors, and that was it. Raven as the CEO. What promise do you think was on? He's been mentioned undelivered promises. Like, what what was promised to you that you think wasn't delivered on? Getting basically all of my roles back. A lot of what was, you know, his plans on trying to catch Arjuna in the act of doing so, like suspicious things, this and that. It was there was a lot of things he said to me that I was just like, well, you know, you didn't you didn't keep your word. You just basically flipped on that and changed your mind and after all the stuff that I've done to get the corp to where it's at you know there's a lot of people who said that you know they recognize me as the most active in the corp and that you know I was the one that kept the corp going at the time before the merger because of time and effort I was putting in every day right before Including everything I had to the corp before roll removal, did you feel like there was any tension? Like, as you mentioned there, it didn't sound like there was an expectations conversation that happened with you. So did you feel like there was any tension or anything like that before that, or it felt really sudden to you? I could tell there was some sort of tension going on, but I couldn't get what the problem was because, you know, nothing was being fully said as to, like, what if they were mad or had a problem with something. Nothing was being expressed that way. It was more of, you know, I'm expressing my feelings on what they wanted implemented into the corp. And some of the things were a little unfair that I thought on my, on my side. So I wanted to express my feelings on that. And that's where the problems started um, started forming with them. And then I was seeing that, you know, some of the things weren't going right. Some of the way they were acting or saying, you know, in reply to my thing, my um, messages, just, you know, something seemed a little off, bit off. But, like, I was still trying to work with them. I kept telling that to Raven, you know, I'm trying to work with these guys. But, I'm, you know, I don't know what's going on. Like, they seem to be a little bit off to me. Yeah, interesting. Now, I, I know Stoney was saying that uh, there were some things that was happening outside of the game that seemed to be a bit suspicious. What's all going on? Like, why does that have anything to do with the game? Outside of the game? I don't know what he's referring to that happened outside of the game. Nothing happened outside of the game other than us having discussions in private DMs on Discord. But other than that, you know, the doxing part where they said, oh, how they took it to the max of saying what they said about that. No, I wasn't looking to dox this dude or anything in that way at all. It was, he posted a portrait of himself on the About You channel on our Discord that basically showed him who he was, a portrait of himself with his name on the on the painting. So I assumed that, that whatever name was there, that was his. And so in one of the messages, I was like, let's start from day one and set his name. And that was it. Not in a threatening way. Nothing to sit here and say, oh, I'm going to come find you in real life. It was just like, no, just trying to get to the part at the beginning of where this is all going sideways with what's going on in our court. I'm trying to figure out, like, what's your deal with me? Like, why do you have such a problem with me? Like, let's start from there. Like, can you explain that? And then he took it to a whole nother match trying to say, I'm trying to threaten him and trying to dox him. And I'm already explaining back to him that that's not what I was doing. Like, I'm literally telling you. Then I told him who I am as myself because I'm, like, trying to reassure him that, look, well, I'm not trying to do anything to you. So, like, here, let you know who I am. But, you know, they still want to take it to that route. And I'm just, like, trying to work this out, but you're taking it to the max. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. it's so too much of an overreaction. Have, have you spoke to Stoney at all since the theft had happened? Nope. He has yet to reply yeah. to the last name I sent him. 
So he is in the audience, and we're getting a lot of uh, people requesting for Stoney to come on. So he doesn't have his headphones. Would... I've already asked him. He doesn't have his headphones? No. Okay. Dang. <laughs> that's a, I guess that's a bummer. Um, rip. Yeah. I mean, well, do we it... care about feedback? We could just have him yell. I mean, I mean, well, they they have if since they haven't talked to each other, I'm sure Stony has you know questions and stuff that he'd probably want to ask B Town about, but uh, you know that's just one no, of those he things. He just where raised they his haven't... hand. He just raised his hand. Get him up here. Okay. Oh snap! So... All right. I got oh my it. God, you're going to use it. your ad hominem soundboard now. Yeah, I got it. I, I just... don't have it up right now. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we so go. We have we have Stony on. And so, you guys haven't spoke since this theft. I, I, I kind of see there's some tension there. So, w w what's going on, Stony? Well, the first thing, I know when you PM'd me. If you would have actually PM'd me and been like, "Hey, I want to talk about this thing," it would have been fine. But it's just gonna fall in my DMs when it's like, "Hey, I want to talk to you about something." I'm so, like, I'm just a person. I got other shit to do. Like I. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck it was about. That was months after your roles. But sure, I get it. I didn't reply to you. It's fine. <laughs> I just don't understand why... I think my biggest thing is how there's been, like, no communication. I think that's the only part of the story that doesn't... Sure, I didn't tell you I took your roles. That's fine. I get that. But you saying that, like, on Dev and all of their side, that no one was telling you anything or... That as bullshit. I know you were all talking. There was no way that it was just like a thousand percent radio silence for months and you were just sitting in a corner with no one talking to you. Like that is the shit. I don't buy that. Like that's a little but I, <laughs> I was being told the bare minimum and a lot of the things I was being told didn't sound legit for the reason why I need to have all these roles taken away. And there was a t little bit of time that went by that, you know, you had DMs with Arjuna after stripping my roles, you know, you could have at least took time to reach out, you know, you being an Alliance leader and all. Sure. But like also, and not everything is my problem. Dev and them all know you better. They all know how to handle you better. It's not, not everything is on like me to do, but sure. I will apologize for actually not saying anything to you the day that I took your roles. That is, that is fair. Like, I should I should have at least done you the service that said, hey, I don't know what's happening, but I'm taking these. That would have probably made you not panic as much. I, I will admit my fault in that. I mean, even days prior with the DMs Arjuna was sending to you, you could have at least reached out knowing how much of a long time member I've been in Adam. Yeah, but know, uh, knowing like, that it was any, a new merger anytime, going on. Anytime someone is accused of doing something, you don't want to immediately ask them because of course you're going to tell me you didn't do it. Like, what you think you were, if you, let's say you did do something bad, you genuinely think if I would have asked you, you'd have been like, oh yeah, I definitely did that. No. So what's the point of asking you if it was a potential theft at the time? You weren't going to be honest with me, like, or it wouldn't have been a good bet that you would have been honest with me. So no, I didn't ask you about it. I dealt with it through other people who could deal with it. Is there any chance for repairing this relationship like B-Town? If, if B-Town gives all the stuff back and you guys sit and kind of hash it out, is there any way that B-Town gets either back into Adam or back into TSC or is this is this all gone? I mean, I it, on his side, he can say whatever he wants. I mean, if he says no, he couldn't do it. He says no, he couldn't do it. For us, I mean, B-Town has literally been with people like Raven for years. I know how close I am with my friends in this game. I I would hope that they would actually be the people that got to repair it more than anything because they're real friends. They know shit about each other's lives. They've spent hundreds of hours at this point together. If they wanted to be friends and play their game, I always let people be friends and play their game. But the honest thing is B-Town would have to ask himself because there's people who screwed over TSC and he hated when those people were let back into the game, no matter what they had done. So that would be on him and for the rest of my players to decide whether they wanted him to be there. But, like, honestly, no. Come and join. It's a fucking game. If you guys can shake hands and apologize for it, that's fine. Dude, that's like people going bodies and figuring it out. Dude. Like, it, it, whatever. It happens. But 
if you feel that like you've been so burnt by all of those friends that you made and you don't want to be friends with them anymore, then that's fine. You don't have to. You can go do what you want. V Town, what's your thought on that? Would you ever return the the uh, stuff that was taken? Because it's not actually Adam's stuff. It's actually like a lot of different players inside of TSC's stuff. Yeah. From my understanding. Right. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. I'll be moving <laughs> on. You know, you know, I'm living a different story in the game now. Instead of you know, playing the Alliance Corporation guy, you know, playing a new row. You know. Gotcha. And you've got your own corp, right? Huh? You've got your own corp you started. Is that what ODSO is? Yeah. What's that stand for? I haven't looked it up in oh, game. Dark Sky Solutions. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, so there, there's no really going back, and I, I would have figured that uh, B-Town is probably perma-red to, to, to TSC and, and blacklisted, I'm, I'm sure. Um, oh, yeah. that's kind of just how it goes as far as when stuff gets stolen and, and people are being labeled as thieves and all that stuff but yeah I'm I'm pretty interested as to hearing as to like what the future of the game is for you B-Town because honestly uh, unless you uh, unless you completely um, change your identity and it's possible you already have or you had other identities in the game and and you take those routes. Uh, I, I I guess your name is is kind of dead to TSC at this point. But what what's the future of the game for you? Are you just gonna keep playing it and and doing what you're what what uh, you want to do? Yeah, I'm gonna continue playing the game the way I want to play it. You know, there's still a lot of different ways to play the game. There's always different things you can do. So I'm like plenty of, plenty of content. All right. Then, I mean, we never really did. So would you confirm that it was still right around $6.7 trillion as far as the, the assets total worth, roughly? Yeah, I guess somewhere around there, yeah. I mean, Stony okay. has the logs, right? If it was just post screenshots of, like, the like, Well, Stony doesn't. TS, Adam, Adam does. Stony's not, well, okay. Stony's not an Adam. Yeah, yeah. Stony's in, yeah. He's in Daft, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'll say I'll say this before I go since not my time. Like, you know, B, I hope you can figure it out with the people who are actually your friends in this game because it, everything else to me, it's in-game assets. All that's just fuck. You know, it's fine. But like, squashing your friendships, bro, that's that's fucked up. You know that people in this game were like here for you through personal shit throughout all of these years. We all were. Everyone playing this fucking game, we all went through shit like COVID together. People helped each other out. I hope you can find a way to like mend that bridge and be friends with them. Because if you just like walk away and you're like, "Hey man, go fuck yourself," that's pretty low. I'm not a very good friend in my book, TBH. But that's just me, dog. I'll be specific on which friends you're referring to. You're right. None of those dudes are your friends. Just go fuck yourself, bud. <laughs> I mean, that's an exit for real though. Like you could hear, like my man dropped the whole Discord when he left, not just the microphone. Like he went up to Walmart and bought all the microphones to drop at once. Like, yep, boom. Ad hominem. Jesus. Ad hominem. I mean, I guess so. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Amazing. Uh. Wow. I'm just glad yeah, that we I could can. find out how everyone really feels on the inside today, you know? Yeah. We, we got to the core, so. Yeah, it was beautiful. Like That was kind wow. of one of those, uh, well, well then no, moments. No, no, Beaton uh, didn't say what friends. He said, he said, be specific about what people you met. Is that what you were talking about, Beaton? Yeah, he said, he said which ones, specific. which friends, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think, I think, uh, Stoney was probably willing to be able to you know get b-town back into at least tse with his friends but um uh, maybe after not that, now I, I don't know maybe I, not now maybe not now <laughs> but it sounds like b-town has moved on and he's he's got plans for the game so i'm i'm happy for him in that aspect but you're perma red to tse possibly other alliances i mean i i don't know that to be to be perfectly honest but um You'll probably always be labeled as a thief. Unfortunately, that is what it is. It, it, that comes with uh, having heisted uh, two supers, basically. 
Um, yeah, I, I I was actually kind of hoping that you guys would have mended that relationship, but uh, we we kind of figured how that turned out. So uh, sorry you had to hear that, but it is what it is at this point. Um, I'm glad you that you were able to come on and and talk with us about that. Um, talk with Stony even since that was the first time since you guys actually talked since the heist. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just say again. No, no, I was just green. Okay. So, uh, it, you know, if there's anything else that you want to add um, to the story or or kind of just to close things out as for you being a guest, you're welcome to listen to the show and, and be a guest and, and, and talk. There's no hate there. So, yeah. I mean, your beef is with TSC. I get it. Um, but otherwise, uh, I, I, I do wish you the best. It's kind of unfortunate that uh, they had to come to that, I guess it's say. But uh, but if you'd yeah. like to close it out, uh, also I want to mention that you know this wasn't also the first time Adam's been robbed. You know nope. they got robbed back back in the day um, by a previous member that is no longer with us. But yeah, that happened as well. There's a lot of stuff in so uh, TSC that's just kind of flying off the shelf. Yeah, I mean there's all of TSC. Like this is like eight supers they've lost this this year. What? To uh, either thievery or RMT Did selling you say eight? And eight in total, they've mm-hmm. lost not by them dying, but by people either stealing them or RMTing them. Um, there was another group that had like five of them that got taken and then sold for real money. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, but honestly though, like that's one way to advertise your corp. Like we had eight supers to sit around and hang out and get stolen. Yeah, right? like I mean, you're doing something. <laughs> I mean, the security side not so great. Could use right, better right, HR, yeah. but on the production <laughs> side fucking italian hands right <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're just like yeah we got these extra supers yo has anyone seen those bitches in a while though like i don't and why is the citadel off <laughs> why is the Citadel's <laughs> off? Yeah, who turned the lights out oh god <laughs> it's that new samsung light someone turned it off by accident netties I did. There goes the gray again. Oh boy! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I actually got the idea that um, if he if he's starting uh, like a new player friendly corporation that will oh, like, help people help player <laughs> players to come into you get a super and you yeah. get a super. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I will, I'm just saying, TSC could spin this, bro. They could definitely spin this as a recruitment strat. B Town could grow out as a marketing director. He could consult externally. Oh my Everyone god! Everyone could win. Dude, you yeah. know, literally, he he could take the supers and do and make money off just dr carries. Yeah. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> like the ultimate insult. New players, though, like you got to do some pro bono new carries, right? Like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you want you want guaranteed leaderboard? I, I don't yeah. care if you're a five day old character or a hundred day old character. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want a guaranteed leaderboards spot, there you go. Featuring Please, everyone gets Please right, now we're recruiting. You can't, can't shoot everything. other now people in those DRs, people. can you? Because yeah, if, if, if so, care. that'd be great. I'm oh, sorry, what'd you say, B Tony? You said you'd give out free carries. <laughs> yeah, I'd give out free carries. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's giving back, bro. One set of orange clone bounds at a time. There we go. Look at this guy. That's amazing. Fucking <laughs> beautiful. Uh, Juby wants a carrier, by the way. X free oh, ale. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Okay, does anybody else have any questions for B Town since uh, since he's with us? Yeah, a we'll couple more questions for B Town, and then we'll end that part of the episode. Yeah, I do want to talk about Rico real quick too. I mean, I don't know. I don't have yeah. questions, but real talk, like I do hope, like if any of those folks, because you know, I don't. Know, it's weird to tell someone who their friends are, right? You know who your friends are, but if you really do have a relationship with you, you can salvage, like when shit calms down, like that's about the only thing I actually care about in the game. I mean, if I die in a super, yeah, I'm sad, but like the actual people that aren't AIDS, yeah. Wow, these comments do. No, I did have a. I did have a question earlier now that i think about it was uh to the corpse whose supers that were being made by adam how do you think that they feel uh getting robbed even though stony had mended that you know but how do you think that they feel um when it came to it 
Salty. Salty, yeah. And rightfully so, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean. Oh, boy. No further questions for me. <laughs> I'm... Yeah. I had an idea for the name of the corporation, if you can change it, like the Skyrim, like the... the, the wait, wait, hold again. on. What is Thief this talking skilled? about? There's someone who made a comment said they're more sensitive questions they should have asked about stocking and stuff. Well, hold on, though. Like, I don't know about Rambo, but, I mean, I don't think we can know what to bring up if it doesn't come up, right? I mean... Right. And understandably, there was some stuff that was hinted that was outside of game. Um, B-Town, like he had said, doxing was some sort of accusation or something. Uh, stalking could be another one. I'm, I'm really kind of unclear as to what they mean by all that. And we don't really know any of this stuff because Stoney didn't tell us much. Uh, and in B-Town, I mean, respectful to your IRL, you know, we don't need to know much, but what, you know, details. What, yeah, it's like what what's up with all these outside of the game type accusations? No, I like I said before, there was no nothing happened outside of the game. The only person that had number outside of the game was Ravens because he had given it to me. Like we both had conversations outside of real life. He's my friend on Facebook, and some that's it. But like nothing happened between me and him and IRL. Like, the thing they're referring to about the doxing was how I mentioned his name due to the fact that he posted a portrait on our Discord on the About You, the portrait of himself with his name on it. That was basically it. So I assumed that was his first name on the picture or whatever, and just, you know, trying to get to him, like, hey, what is the deal? Like, what's up? Like, why do you have this personal problem? Like, like gamer tag aside, like, like, what is going on? Because I'm trying to understand what the problem is, because clearly... There's a problem going on that I can see is going on between our director chat. So that's why I had to bring it to the director. I mean, our group chat that we had. Because they had stripped my roles with nothing being said to me. And nobody was explaining to me what they what their real problem was with me. Like, I was trying to get that from Arjuna. All right. I think that's all the detail and all the uh, roundabout we need to do into, into yeah, this topic. I, I, I think we're good. I, I know I came in late. I only have one question. Uh oh. Be down. Exactly how many fucks do you have to give? <laughs> he doesn't That's have the any. one thing to steal, bro. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> there it was, yeah. <laughs> A man of many words. All right. B Town, thanks yeah. for coming on. We appreciate your time. Thank you. uh, thanks for giving us your Thank side you. of the story. And yes. let's move Thank on you. from there. Right. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, thank you, B Town. All right, I some people are saying doxing in the chat. I don't, I don't know if they truly understand what doxing is. Uh, it doesn't unless, sound like it. Honestly, it from either side, the stuff that Arju wanted or... told me too didn't really sound like doxing either. But people like no. to throw those words around, and unless someone gives us any more information on it. One. I That's don't really. I don't really. Yeah, I don't think we really even need to go over. Were IP addresses involved? Yes ask, or no? Ask J Factor. It's a, it's a, Jesus. It's a yes or no. <laughs> yeah, really? I think this episode was beautiful because, like, uh, it, it's a very interesting story to get inside of the mind uh, of of this uh, thievery and like why it happened. And all, all the logistics, what happened, how he did it, it was like an amazing story. Yeah, wow. It's an eye opener and for I'm... people to look at their Discord or their uh, yeah. in-game roles anyway for that director role, and just make sure you're not even using, not even checking that box on any of the actual permission roles itself, because it's not a role. It's not a, it's 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 right. it's a it's a it's a role. I guess you could call it that, but it's on the top, like when you're scrolling from left to right, looking at all the different permissions per name you give to a new role anyway it's in there it's buried in there don't check that so rip well let's let's talk about the emotional aspect of it too because you know getting stripped of roles is kind of a, a big f you i mean you slap in the face or whatever you want to call it especially when it came to zero notice no notice short yeah. notice whatever I mean, granted, that was mistake it is number what one it is. by Stony. Uh, I'm not defending that. him, but yeah, I mean, he admitted that. But the the amount of time 
the the relationships that you make in game the amount of time that you spend in game um either doing fleets mining uh actual effort into the game people get emotional about this stuff and i mean i i could be just as guilty as you know the next guy is like you know what that fucking pissed me off what am i gonna do right what can i do how how can i hurt them to 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 figure out that you know hey this is this is the point i want to make granted he 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 did it he handled his situation like he did that's fine but it, it's not for everybody i guess i could say it's uh people take this game a bit more serious or less serious than a lot of people i think stony um acknowledging that dude this is just a game you know well, don't don't be taking all that stuff so seriously i think that's kind of more the outlook that i have when it when it comes to this type of game um granted at the end of the day i'm like dude it's just a game so it's not affecting me in real life granted yes i'm probably pretty mad about all that time that i spent in doing things and managing and all that but put that aside it doesn't affect you outside of life or outside you know real world so it, it just gets to people and people take it differently and they they handle it differently and it, it is what it is all right who's our next topic rico Rico Alliance, they are, are no longer, yes. they're dead. They were in tribute, they're gone, they're dead, they've disbanded. So uh, we're, we're talking about, I, it was it, uh, it was before the debate, we were talking about dead and how they got their corporation medals. And I yeah. was like, heck, I don't even know what alliance that they're in. And Rico was brought up then, you know, it was led by Swift, mm. uh, Swiftness. Yep. And, uh, and so that was kind of it. I'm like, oh, crap, okay, I haven't really heard of them much. Uh, in New Eden, I heck, I didn't even know where they lived at the time until I was informed about them. <laughs> right next to that. us, down in Tribute. <laughs> right, it's like that's how often I go to Tribute. Literally, that's how often I go to Tribute. You know, I'm not looking at the Sov map every week or every day. To I, I know, look at it like, every oh, fucking day. Every day. Yeah. Yep. That's the difference, right? Yep. I'm, heck, I'm I'm not even CEO anymore, so I don't really have to care about that stuff. Unlike right. you, you know, you kind of have other things that you're looking at, but the uh after we had talked about that and i was like okay now i now i'm informed as to kind of who they are where they are you know i knew who was leading it by that time and so okay cool well then what was it not even two weeks later rico puts out a disband uh their their alliance is disbanding and uh, i mean i have the i had the screenshot on my phone um if somebody could pull up if somebody has it on on air they could like damon he could probably post it Actually, no. It's in our staff chat. Huh? I'm on it. Yep, I got. I got you right now. Okay. Just trying to get back. Damon, to Damon's on it. <laughs> Damon's on it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, they they had posted about the uh, about the alliance disbanding, and so coincidentally, it was like days, maybe a week after Dead had joined it. Right? Or maybe maybe they've been in there a bit longer. I honestly, I don't know. But uh, yes, they had that. So it sounds like that they're going to be staying in tribute. You know they had offered blue status for friend relationships and tribute so that's basically it there um as to what's happening to tulu what what's the is that the proper way to say that uh, i i'm not entirely sure what the name of the corp is it's Swiftness the last corp? of us and i call them i've always called them tilo oh, okay i i i look at it i say i think of tulu but okay the last of us that corporation they ended up joining silent so mm -hmm. you know there was kind of that it's like okay what's going on are they moving into deck or you know with all, all of a sudden you know silent got all these members and people are kind of raising uh, asking questions so ultimately yeah that's where they ended up going after the announcement and you know there's kind of some questions as to how come the entire alliance didn't join right and there's speculation behind that and as to why dead can't get into silent i think uh, damon had kind of summed it up properly as to uh, literally half the corporation is blacklisted um out of silent to but now the but now courts. on air but now on air with the executor in the chat would you consider bearing the hatchet and welcoming in the dead corporation hard pass <laughs> so so <Axel>. quick <laughs> 
I mean, that was almost like B Town Zero Fucks answer. Right? So it's, <laughs> it's very. That's what I was talking about earlier, right? The whole like, there's the executor answer. Uh, no, pass. Yeah. <laughs> take any other question for a thousand, please. <laughs> yeah, ad hominem. Wow. Jeez, bro. That's gonna like punctuate my thoughts until I die. Like, right, it's never going <laughs> away. <Yeah>, brutal. <laughs> so, uh, I remember it, it had to have been a couple months. Axel had approached me asking if uh, Dead can join Silent, and I told him I'm not the one to talk to. I don't know why people come to me asking me if they can join the Alliance. I'm like, dude, I'm not exec. I don't and on do that same with, token, like, alliance recruit. I hear that people are talking to Silent, uh, but they're not talking to me, which means they're not talking to anybody. So it's it's hilarious to to hear. Oh no, we talked to Silent. They told us no. And I'm like, really? Who in Silent did they talk to? And they'll either say, well, we talked to Rambo, or we talked to Winch, or we talked to some guy in UFC <laughs> yeah, G, or we talked to yeah, we talked we talked to Juby, and no. it's like, what the fuck? Like, no, I'm sorry, you didn't talk to anybody. No offense, guys, but like that's not the people who make those calls. It's hilarious. Right. I do actually reach out to Bradrick for all silent. Bradrick is now chief diplomat. Well, now we did used to have people talk to Hawk. So in that case, it was hilarious to see what would come out of that. But um... Bradrick is the unofficial official Reddit (laughs) diplo. Reddit diplo, yeah. (laughs) There's that. He's got that going for him. That's amazing. Like, any anytime people ask me questions, I always refer them to Taylor Rick in that sense. Yeah. If it's maybe corpse side, then sure, I could probably talk to you. But if it's alliance, anything to do with alliance stuff, nope. Go to Taylor Rick. That's who you need to talk to. Or previous execs. You know it is. Oh, yeah, even is, nihilist so. or JD, you can reach out to those guys too and talk to them. Um, Man, I haven't seen Nihilist around in a long time. They're going to ignore you, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. just being honest. <laughs> yeah, I've actually I've visited Nihilist a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Times. I only got to do that yeah. once. I can't, I can't wait to do it again someday. Um, next all time right, we get right. Phoenix. Now, let's, let's test Rambo and Taylor's history. Name, in order, all the executors of the Silo Federation. I could name them. Uh, right. obviously pay to win. Um, but then there was Christian true beast probably for after that, then Christian, then nihilist, then Christian and true beast are the same. That's true. So Christian the same person. Is yeah. True yeah. Beast. That's the same person. You're right. Yes, You're right. Yes. right. Um, but I forget who came after nihilist. There was a couple in there. Then there was sort of Zen and then JD. Um, and then me, but, um, after there was a few kind of came and went pretty hard and quick in between mm. true beast and nihilist or even after nihilist before it went to zen i because I zen think... at the time zen was the only one who'd lasted a whole year kind of impressive is it zen it's twice Bo- bozarth maybe that's right maybe it was zen so, twice no nihilist nihilist was twice so it, yeah, as I remember, because I joined SHH, my corp joined SHH, April of 2021, and True Beast was the executor. I even had him on a podcast episode back then. I know, crazy. Um, so yeah, True Beast, right, and Bozart, then he gave yeah. it to Nihilist. Nihilist ran it for a number of months, and then he gave it to Zen. Zen was a very long time. Uh, he, I mean, he was the CEO of GRA for the mm-hmm. longest time, and if people know. The history of GRA and Silent is they were actually mortal enemies, and then they ended up, you know, uh, what was that? OBS Alliance ended up breaking up or something like that. GRA stayed in deck. They warded out, and then ultimately GRA stayed. Anyway, there's a little bit of history there. But it was True Beast, Nihilist, Zen, Nihilist again, unofficially MJD. Yeah. MJD did a lot of uh, leading in the Content Coalition in the, in the CC war. But he, I don't think he was ever officially considered no. the executor. No, he was he kind of just the decision maker as yeah. Nihilus was like, okay, I'll let you do the military stuff, which we were at war, you know. Uh, Nihilus was still holding the, uh, the, the, the Alliance exec position, but MJD was leading the military as you could, as you would only figure, you know, as a military type alliance, right? As, right. as the whole structure is. Was so the... after that, uh, then, oh, so in TF, so in TF terms, time. In TF terms, he was the sky marshal, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, you, the admiral, I, I guess, right? So, um, so MJD was kind of unofficial. I, I don't really claim him to be as the exec. And then it was Taylor Rick. Yeah. So he had taken it from Nihilist. So that's basically it. Yep. In the middle of the war, basically. In a very uh, yeah, reluctant. Toward the end of it. In a very reluctant, yeah. I'll go ahead and take it. Because Nihilist wasn't able to do it. JD was, was going to step down from the game. Who was really going to do it? And it's like, yes, man, someone's got to do it. And I've been here kind of doing it on the back end at least a little bit for a year now. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. So... Yeah, I was I was actually kind of glad when Taylor took that, and I think I may have even had some questions about the war when uh, when uh, he'd taken that position, and I figured he'd probably be talking to people too because see, we are we all know that MJD definitely burnt bridges. There's a lot of people in New Eden that didn't like him, uh, just based off the stuff that he said. I mean, we all see it. So, uh, but when when Taylor came to be ex- exec. I was like, oh, sweet. Okay, this kind of opens up a few doors as to, hey, can we actually get some things done or can we make some changes? Um, at the time, I think, was uh, fighting Meow, or not Meow, fighting AOA with Meow. And we already kind of know how that turned out. But, uh, you know, a- along with some other stuff, uh, all the way up until we finally ended up pulling out, based on t- Taylor's call like you know what this is dumb let's just focus on the real enemy and it wasn't void so take that with a grain of salt too but yeah. um, I, I was kind of glad that that change was made in that sense well I will say uh, now that we are four years into the game officially um, you can kind of look back at the past and now and it's not just for silent but it goes for most of the alliances that are out there now if you look at the temperament of alliance leaders now like executors and back in the past it's evened out a lot <laughs> these days oh the temperament, the temperament of the of alliance. the uh, execs of all the alliance yeah i mean of all the alliances the yeah. heat the, the overall heat is kind of gone in terms of what it was in the early days and that's not because the the passion isn't there and it's not because of the i'll i'll speak from my two cents and my opinion on it it's not because the animosity isn't there, um, although it is just a game, right? But at the same time, it's like, yeah, fuck those guys because that gets me riled up. Um, but it, it, it's not about it's not about that. There's no loss in passion on my end for the game or for war or for fighting and all that. What it is, it's the state of the game, right? So two years ago, the entire Sov map wasn't filled. The entire Sov map is essentially filled at this point. Um, and you've got one side versus the other, literally. There's one side versus everyone else. And it's been that way now for two, two and a half years. I mean, it's been that way since the server war started in November of 22. Okay, so we're about at the two-year mark uh, of how that's been. And so, um, but the reality is, is that the SOV map is full. And time tanking is a, uh, is a strategy. It's a thing. Everybody's doing it. I'm doing it. They're doing it. We're all doing it. That's, that's just part of the game, right? That's just part of the game. So Sov doesn't really – Sov matters more now than it ever has just because of all the, all the, just the way the mechanics of the game are. But at the same time, when it comes to war, Sov la- really matters less now than it did in the past because who's going to fucking anchor in all those spots? Right. Like, I mean, do I really if, if I if I really wanted to go, if silent really wanted to go and clear out someplace like, I don't know, fountain, we could. I don't give a shit. Nobody cares. I don't I don't need more space in fountain. Nobody, nobody wants it. I, I, it doesn't bother. It doesn't matter to me. Sure. We needed cloud. Yeah. Ring. We needed cloud ring. Yeah, sure. Sure. That that was different because those guys were total fucking pushovers. And meow was just not even existent. But whatever. Uh, wild geese anyway. Yeah. Meow. So that's one thing, but I mean, in terms of just where we are right now, it's not, it's not a, that, that sob fighting thing, there, there's, there's not a very good mechanic for it. There's really no reason for it. There's no expansion that's really needed, honestly. So yeah, that part of it is, is cooled off a little bit. And the fucking timers take forever. Like uh, Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I'm fine with the way the timers are, are mechanics-wise in the game. I'm fine with um, Citadels having you know, six or what is it, six high slots now for missiles <laughs> on a T4. Um, yeah. I'm fine with all that stuff. Um, 
what I'm not fine with is there's there's something dead in terms of the the need to fight. You know, you have to go and manufacture it uh, a little bit, which is fine. That's all. That's all part of us being content creators. That's all part of us doing our thing. But at the same time, it's like there needs to be there needs to be a mechanic introduced somewhere that um, that gives us a reason to fight. And I was kind of hoping moon mining would be it, but it's not. In terms of no, certain still. areas have better materials than others. No, they're all going to have the same goddamn thing. Now you're just going to have a chance of ubiquitous bullshit. So, um, yeah, I, so th that's not that's not the case. Maybe Faction War, war Games next week will do something. Yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, exactly. Six high slots. God. Oh, buddy, get her done. Yeah. Now so, it just has to work. Kind of if you that know, thing could warp, that thing be ratting large <laughs> and anoms like instantly. Lamau. If that Maybe thing could warp, a... oh my god. <laughs> well, actually, you would bring it to high sec, right? If <laughs> <laughs> K rat, <laughs> deep force it. <laughs> if that could warp and jump a gate, I'm all in. Oh my god. Out <laughs> some you crabbers, I swear to god. That's hilarious. <sighs> anyway, I, I, okay. yeah. I, I, I'm totally I forget because we. Think we the were, same as we were kind of Taylor. talking about uh, we we're kind of talking about like why dead couldn't join the alliance yeah. uh, Taylor do you remember that that uh, conversation with Axel did you just straight up tell him no or what uh, I didn't have a conversation with Axel I don't think I, I, I didn't a, even have a conversation I don't, I don't think I had a conversation with um, with anybody other than artifact there at one point and that was just what they're going to do with the citadels and I said I don't care and he said can we blow them up and I'm like go for it so yeah, so uh, since since The Last of Us had joined SHH, it does seem like some things are changing in tribute. Uh, I was informed Dead was unanchoring their citadels, so it's Blowing possible up, yeah. they're moving out. Yeah, they are moving out. Um, and then, and then uh, AOA dropped a couple citadels. They did in tribute as well, so they're starting to already make that push there too. Yep, and people. I don't, this must be the only uh, Eve Echoes content where we push against AOA. I mean, I don't hear it from anybody else. No other content creators push against AOA as much as we do. But, like, we see it. <laughs> we see it happening all the time. It's crazy. Yep. No comment. Okay. I thought you had a comment. No, no, no. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, what do you, what do, what do you have to say to that? Like, or, what can, AOA anchoring I, in I tribute? I see the Borg uh, assimilating I, everyone. What, what's that? <laughs> Maybe. What's that quote from? Uh, what's that quote from John Goodman in that uh, that bowling movie? You know, Am I the only one who gives a fuck? <laughs> that's so. That's a big Lebowski. That's so good. Big yeah, the Lebowski. big Lebowski. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pulls are, a gun during blue? a game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, dude, it's about the it. rules of the bowling game for sure. Yeah, that one, right? Anyway, I'll uh, I'll dismiss <laughs> that. But anyway, we uh, that is basically it. That is all that I had. Unless you guys had some more comments about stuff that uh, about the voyage ceremony and all that. I think Juby's gonna be there, right? With Soen, right? Ah, oh boy, <laughs> like um. I don't know. I I was in the rehearsal. If that was a rehearsal, I recorded it. I'm planning to release a video about it, like uh, maybe in a few days, comparing that to the first voyage ceremony experience. And uh, let's mm -hmm. see. But yeah, I I don't really know, like if this. Uh, if will if they will like suddenly do a new rehearsal or the live thing for me it was uh, 4 a.m. when it started and I was Jeez. like waiting for the live live streaming and uh, recording everything and now and also the ships what are my alts uh, I borrowed the ships from from my friend Troy. <laughs> it's a big hassle to get them back like I returned them already and uh, don't feel comfortable like uh, have, can you send me again <laughs> kind of it's uh, embarrassing <sighs> but yeah yeah a lot of hassle 
How, how many supers so, are going to be present there, uh, Juby? Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, our, I think our corp had three. And those are on loan Taylor. because it's confirmed Cohen doesn't have any. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Juby. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, yeah. Taylor knows. Damn. And do you know what is also, I was comparing to the first year anniversary and to this. So in the first year, I was in a rock battleship. So a battleship. And now suddenly, like after four years, everyone has capital ships only in the formation. Like, and no, you're still on no a less. Or a rock. <laughs> no, I was in my science C and uh, oh, okay. yeah. I thought you would have upgraded to like a slasher two interceptor or something. <laughs> from a science C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, from, a, from a roke. Yeah. No, oh, from a science C you uh, oh. from, from capitals you upgrade the scepters. Come on now. This is the this That makes is the sense. Way. Yeah. This is yeah. The way. yeah. It, We're it's Joda. Joda mindset. Yep. Yeah, this is the Joda <laughs> joke. Yep. Now I uh, I know I, I had to take a work call when you guys were covering all this and you got probably already did. Was that a rehearsal, or did they just screw the pooch like always? Uh, it was the rehearsal. It was the actual rehearsal. They now, in game that, it doesn't right. tell you that. In Does game, that mean they're going to do that, it again? So... Does that mean all those guys, all those corporations, have to do yes. that again? I don't think that no, a mandatory it has to no. be there. They're not because it's all recorded. All they're yeah, doing yeah. is playing recorded footage on the actual ceremony. So it's not really a rehearsal. Thing. It's just we're, we're everybody get together and do it, and we're going to record it. I mean, release it later. Yeah. I mean, isn't yeah. that rehearsal? The, like, yeah, but the problem is they just didn't tell people. But that's the it real was, thing. Right? That's like, the real thing. Like if you look at the, the notice, it says this is a two-hour event. Well, yeah, I was thinking it's it, a it real takes deal. It's thirty minutes to record it. So, it, like, no part of that explains why you would advertise this as a two-hour event on the day it happened. Why wouldn't you just send mail? Because, like, for example, if you're in the parade, it tells you, it sends you three mails, right? It says, hey, you're selected. Then it says, hey, here's a reminder. Then it tells you your slot in the parade. So why not just mm -hmm. tell people, like, hey, be on at this time to grab your thing? Like, you don't have to hype up the whole server and be like, yo, bro, be on for some shit you can't do. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's exactly. I, and there's and as something I was... live stream. As I was logging in and all my characters are getting this voyage ceremony announcement thing, I'm like, what the? So my core's not in it. Like, why am I getting this? <laughs> and then you click on it, it goes Yubi to a link from there. two years Go. ago. And you, you, you literally watched the live stream video from two years ago. They didn't do last yeah. year's for whatever reason. They did the one two years ago. Captain Benzi was there in Zimbabwe doing his uh, little speech <laughs> thing. Like, it's all there still. Fucking. <laughs> The good old days. Oh, it God. was only to so, Captain dude. Captain Ben hey, us. It should. So should we angry. talk about? Oh, should we talk it, about this update? Wasn't that the one where he got? Wasn't that the one where he got angry because they like misspelled his name or something? No, oh, yeah. that was the, the. That one. was just the anniversary the, the video name. with everybody's names. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah, that was last year. Man, he was lit up on that. Oh. I think that was one of the reasons why he quit. Uh, one of them, yeah. he felt disrespected. I mean. It is what it him is. Quit his mod stat. He sat us live. He should have amazing. You know, he should have just <laughs> robbed Cat Skull and just been. <laughs> I mean, didn't he rob Cat Skull though? Like, I just feel like. I feel like he robbed him of three years oh, of their yeah, lives. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he, if you consider robbing them and and having going to EO, you know, members as yeah. your most valuable asset. So I mean, yeah. that's a, it's a good, good, uh, shout right there. So. I wanted I wanted to hit I, on this update I, too because we didn't talk about this yet. What update? Oof. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the big the big uh, update that they make you uh, do in game. You the know, engine update. The, the skill. Yeah, the oh, engine yeah. update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the whole thing about this is they're they're updating like the back and you know the engine of course, but one of the things that i was curious about is whether or not my fire tablet was going to be affected by that and it turned out it's not because fire os is not 32-bit or 64-bit not that i could see but it appears that the <laughs> it's new neither engine of those two only... things so it's what zero no, bit i i don't know what it is i don't know <laughs> it still maybe runs the game on the update but... so maybe it's a 64-bit but i couldn't find that in any info on os yeah. fire rambo but... doesn't know he just keeps feeding the hamster yeah, it's right. The fire tablets are so great. 
It's got to be a 64. They've dropped, they've dropped 32-bit support, period. Everything has to be 64-bit support. Yes. So. What is this Especially new in September. technology? Fire tablet. Yes. Fire it's an tablet. Amazon thing. It's, oh, like it's, like can, it's old. Can you so send a picture in the chat? What, what, what? is that device? Dude, you don't know what a fire tablet have, is? It's Amazon's... I'm from uh, Finland. We don't have those. Well, it's the Amazon Fire it's tablet. It's Amazon. It's everywhere. It's it's global. They it's a good so, cheaper uh, entry product to like the tablet market, and they were trying yeah, to yeah. It it's, it's trash. An, it's an El Cheapo tablet, and typically on Prime Days or whatever, they're like fifty percent off. So you can get okay. a decently good tablet that'll run the game for like seventy bucks. I'm like, okay. I'm, well, you should like in here we they advertise the Lenovo. Uh, tablets or whatever. Lenovo makes that's, tablets. Yeah. Oh god, that's horrible. Yeah, I don't even know yeah. about that tablet. But like, <laughs> I have a lot between my wife and I. We have a lot of these tablets, and they run alts and and numerous things. Wow. And so, I was Damn. kind of sweating whether or not the Fire tablet wouldn't be supported anymore because of this 64-bit uh, yeah. mandatory uh, update. In which, I'm satisfied it does work. So. Um, now a lot of the emulators people are going to have to update forever. their god yeah i, think I have version updated... nine on android if you're like seven or lower it won't work but nine plus should should be good you know For what me, i thought about that the game has is... been working like shit after that the update Did yeah you do I the engine people... update yeah like uh on the ipad like uh all the buttons get frozen and the drones don't attack and all that weird stuff. Actually, for me, yeah, I I don't know. I haven't had any issues on iPad, but I haven't played my tablet with the 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 update. Maybe I to need really to know. update to the iPad. <laughs> Sounds like it. Software update. Yeah, but when when this update came out and it was a mandatory, you know, sixty four bit emulators are having problems. It takes a super long time for the emulators to update. All, the first thing that I thought was, okay, well, NetEase, thanks NetEase, they're trying to take care of the, the botting problem, right? So the, nah. all, all the bots were down for a day or two. And potentially in the future if they don't switch or update. So anyway. Yeah, actually, yeah, that could be good. But that I still it. saw, big saw the molars. The molars, I still see them going. <laughs> sure. Nobody ever talks about those. We got a anyway, picture of the screenshot of the range on those missiles on an Anubis being 1,015 kilometers, which is past the actual lockable range. Um, so that's kind of funny, but amazing. It also means absolutely nothing because the missiles fly so goddamn slow. Like, what's still going to be sitting there? A thousand right. kilometers away, so it doesn't really. Well, you you'd have like four or five cycles of the guns, even at large, by the time you even hit, and that that and target can... could be dead. Yeah, you're right. And the you only thing you can hit with that is structures, but in which case the Anubis is so goddamn slow compared to anything else, you're going to tackle it and kill it. It's not like it's a mock, so. But you can use the tactical Azazel. missiles and Azazel! scram the target. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah, I got I, I got saying. Damon on the soundboard. I got Damon on the soundboard too. Good. I am back. Yep. <laughs> I am. <laughs> like Terminator. I am back. I am back. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. Do, 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 do. We had a two hour show. That's really good. We had a two hour show. See, see that's that's how I know I've made it. When you make it onto Rambo soundboard you've achieved something wow yes come on come on <laughs> oh. and oh, just shit. just let the audience know because i wasn't i wasn't on before when you guys were talking about this if it is just a recording of the voyage i am trying to work out with the all the hosts here us doing a drunken live stream of that thing telecast through all everyone's channel yeah uh basically us being the announcers on this yep for sure. Oh Little Mystery Science Theater yeah. 3000. There. Yep. Every time Honestly, like, a think... parade tip goes by, you have to take a shot. We'll oh see God. if we'll make it to the end without dying. Oh, God. I'll be dead. Oh, shoot. I don't know if we should be doing take a shot. Uh, maybe we should have like a bingo board or something. For there the you amounts go. Of we have a, we have a bingo board, and then every time Rambo mispronounces the ship name. 
I don't. I don't. Maybe not me so much. But I think we really host. should do. I think we really should do an official fan-made voyage ceremony, though. I really do. Like that wouldn't be that difficult to do. Like, and, it, I, and I'm imagining it, it, quite a few corporations would would join for that in a heartbeat. If if somebody wanted to donate the freighter to an event. Dude, I'd totally jump in that freighter. Oh yeah, we'll be, do a freighter. That'd be so easy, Hell though. Of yeah, freighters are. First of all, it's not even cap IP anymore, right? They're like. Yeah. What is a freighter like? Three thousand IP or some shit? Yeah, a regular freighter. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty. We'd have to get stuff to put into it. Ooh, that's what we could do for the freighter. By the way, is we could put all the moon uh, stuff into it. All the stuff from moon mining. We can get some well, donations from doing... that. We can throw all that into the freighter, and then even throw in a run. Yeah, exactly. Throw some of the new destroyers well, in there. See I hear B Town has quite a bit of stuff that. Yeah, we can get some shit from B Town. Yeah. Well, can we finish that with our stuff in? Taylor will throw all his Veldspar in it. Yeah, all the Veldspar <laughs> I don't want from the Moon Mine. I'll put it in the freighter and I'll go. I'll, you know, honestly, I think I'll, I'll drop a, a quart medal in there. There I'll you go. That. It'll get lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it won't drop, it, right? Like there's a it, chance it won't it drop. Not, well, not, no, it's a box. A box will drop, right? Yeah, I don't know. Box. I don't know. Good question. So my my court medals did not come in the form of a code. It came in a box. Uh, I literally have court medals in a box. Interesting. I love how they do so, that. No. Huh. Yeah. Like as the old Which code, is interesting sometimes they wouldn't. Like every time I had to could, redeem codes, I always had to go to Arrow because there was an issue. Whereas now it's like you actually, well, when you finally get it, you get it. <laughs> You're right. I should, I should preface that. They've reversed our images and messed up, I think, four different times. Yeah. You know, and I find that to be odd too because when Dead was giving out, giving out their medals, they were asking for character IDs. So they ended up getting a code that had to right, be used. Right, right. They did not get a box. This time? Yeah, this time. Recently, yeah. I had to give oh, a code. They got this done dirty. Yeah. That's I gave not a, okay. I gave a code to um, Artifact, uh, and I've got a dead. I've got a dead medal. Yep, wow. Same. Yeah. Immortals gave me one. Yep. I think Wait, currently oh. the medals I have is I have I have Ghost Legion, I have Dead, and I have one of the original HTP with a baboon. Yep. On I've it. got an HTP <laughs> one. I've got one from um, Bot Five. Uh, with the uh, the uwu anime girl on it. Oh, I've got. Who's, who's uh, got the one that looks like a plug? Oh, I don't know. A plug. Dude, I'm I'm like I'm, a I'm, plug? Like, what I'm, I'm next, dead serious. Next show. Dead we'll, serious. Well, next show. Uh, part of it, we'll go through the medals and uh, yeah, Saku's medals, awesome. Oh, that would be legit. Like show all the cool, yeah. Yeah, just show all the medals and go through it. We'll do that like on the next. Well, in the next show, uh, we're gonna have. Uh, I didn't told anybody this yet. Not even Rambo. Um, but I'd like to have PHPC on um, and do kind of a state of the game with Merck organizations. Uh, so okay. PHPC will so, be on. So I'm going to upload this in the on-air chat. This is Sky Sniper. That's a relatively known person in mm -hmm. uh, New Eden. Get him on. L look at what, what are those medals? <laughs> and it's are got a hand the, on it. Aren't those the Dude. one off from the video? <laughs> thing, or is that something else? That's crazy looking. I've never seen those two. Am I the I've only one the other that's one, seen that? But I've never seen those other two. Huh. Yeah. Aren't those the one off from the Corp contests? Butt plugs. <laughs> those those Butt are the ones. When you bend over really good for net ease, you get those. I don't know. I, I'd have to ask how they got them or what those medals were. But it was the first time I've seen that. Like, yeah. That? Interesting. Yeah. That'll be fun to do. Anyway. Okay, uh, that is it. Anybody else have anything? We close this out. I know I'm sweating like a hog in this office. It's freaking hot in here. Juby knows. He's like, dude, we did a 20 minute freaking giveaway, and it's freaking hot in my office, in, yeah. his, in the room that he did. And I'm like, dude, now you know how I feel. Yeah. I will for for, for sure put together a uh, player based voyage ceremony, and uh, start working that out, working the details out, and let everybody know on the Discord here over the next week or so. Are we allowed to bring work balls? Bring anything you want. Okay. Bingo. I'm going to make a bingo card. For sure, I'm not yeah. going to bring my science C to that. <laughs> well, yeah, it's going to go to, yeah, you'll get to shoot it. Yeah, everybody will get to shoot each other. It's going, you're going to Tama. We'll start in Jita and go to Tama. That's what we'll do. The parade will go from Jita to Tama. So. Oh, yeah. Him taco gate. <laughs> Muffin, that's because great. We, I do want to bring this, I just want to say one other thing. Because those of you who have been with the show, and been watching the show for a long time. 
Remember about a year ago when I got yelled at for during the show mining in eFICO? Yes. In my cover? Yes. I, I, when I logged on the other day, I remember I never compensated it. <laughs> <laughs> I can post, I'll post a picture at some point. But yeah, I, I'm looking at it like, oh, I, shit, I can't get this back. Oh, shit, I had a neon wrinkle on that. Oh, my mm. God. <laughs> Oh, well, that's congrats, dude. <laughs> so I figured, I figured it, since it, it was a one-year anniversary, so I figured I'd, uh, I'd bring that up. Yeah, he appreciates your sacrifice. Yep. Right. Blood God. Yep. And uh, you you guys want to hear some breaking news? Yeah, go for it. Is, uh, we might actually have Stoney become a co-host. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Crazy. More to come, more to come. All right, let's, let's close it out. The panel's just getting bigger. Yeah, I know, right? I want to thank everybody that joined us on this episode. We had a, a two-hour show. It was a very good show, and uh, man, it just—it's it, just so great to be here and talking with you guys. Talk about everything Eve Echoes, and you know, it's a—it's always a good time. Very appreciative of our audience, our subscribers, of course, the staff, and so I, I thank you all. And I guess we will see you on the next episode, whatever it may be, whether it's a voyage ceremony episode or the next podcast or what have you uh, i hope to see you then yep see you guys thanks thank you it's always a pleasure to be here you're good man uh, remember I'm have in. a good weekend have a good week fly safe one eve echoes video per week Ad hominem? Okay. <laughs>